No! Oh my gosh, I'm late guys! I'm late! The game was out last night! What is this? Oh god damn alarm clock not working today. Oh well, let's get to it. Pokemon Go Adventures brought to you by Fuggle and Itachi. How do I got so much energy when I just woke up? Oh well. And, oh, and I still got my clothes on that I'm about to wear. Damn! Let's get to it! What's up everybody? For the win touch, you here, you know what it is. We are getting started with our very first episode in the Pokevlogger series. Hello there, I am Professor Willow. This guy is hot as what is up with this hairstyle. This is the coolest looking professor of all times. Did you know that the world is inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon? Pokemon can be found in every corner of the earth. Some run across the plains, others fly through the skies. Some live in the mountains or in the forest or near water. God damn, I did not know that. I have spent my whole life studying them. And their regional distribution. Will you help me with my research? That's great. How did you say yes, man? I was just looking for someone like you to help. You'll need to find and collect Pokemon from everywhere. Now choose your style for your adventure. Oh, um, definitely the male. I'm sorry about that, ladies, but uh, I gotta, gotta play what I gotta play. Skin color, oh damn, for sure. I remember what my skin color is. Going with that blonde hairdo. Get them blue eyes. Where them blues at? Ladies love them blue. Oh damn, they changed the hat styles. Okay. What's going on? Ho ho what? Oh hell yeah, we're going on full orange mode. Gotta orange my swag out. There we go. Where them orange kicks? There we go, where the orange pack? That's yellow. Do they not have the orange one anymore? Uh, I'll go with that one. They changed it a little bit. They changed it a little bit. Wait, no. I want my hair to be different. Uh, what, this is the only hairstyle I can choose? I was able to choose long hair before! What is this? Come on. There's gotta be a way I can choose. It's just skin color. No, oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Come on. I guess that's all we can do. We're going with that. We're set. We're set. The Pokeballs. These will help you catch a wild Pokemon. Cat, I gotta catch a Pokemon, but I'm just sitting here. Where the Pokemon? Oh! Bubble Sword! Squirtle and Charmander. Here we go. Alright, so I had to walk around just a wee bit to get that one set up. You guys already know what my starter Pokemon is gonna be. That was the visitation of the professor, for those of you guys that didn't know. We don't catch this Charmander right now, son. Uh, use your camera. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, this Charmander. Oh, goddamn glare from the. Oh, yes! What? Thought I caught it. Did I not catch him? Come on. There we. Oh, my god. What? No! Cheater! Oh my gosh, my phone is sticky. Got him! Alright, I hope I caught him. Come on. Come on. Come on, inside my house. It's, I think it's 100% catch rate on the first one. I think it is. Alright, so I got that new Pokemon caught, 100 XP. New Pokemon being a 500 XP, so 600 experience points in total. Baby boy Charmander on the squad. Welcome. Uh, that 10 out of 10 HP, fire type, 100 Stardust, 3 Charmander candies, power ups, got 200, 1, evolve 25 of them. Alright, cool. Got it. Alright. Congratulations, you caught your very first Pokemon. You are such a talented Pokemon trainer. What should I call you? Oh, god damn it, new name. Nickname. Well, you got, oh. Oh. If you guys stole my nickname. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Gotta get the capital letters in there, as you guys know. But if you guys stole my nickname, ooh, watch out. Watch out. Are you sure? Yes! Wait! Yes, got it. Alright, you will need more Pokeballs and other useful items during your explorations. You can find them at Pokestops. They're interesting places, sculptures, and monuments. From now on, you'll be exploring all over the world by myself. Unless I need any of you out there. And uh, move in the real world to move your avatar. Of course. That's, that's, that's the whole point of the game. I gotta get outside. What is this? There's a Zubat nearby. Oh snap. And then shop Pokedex Pokemon items. And then me. Alright. Well, let's get out there. Alrighty everybody, in this next part I thought I would go ahead and show you the user interface for the Pokemon Go while we are here adventuring in the wild, getting used to it. On the top left you'll notice a swirly Pokeball. It's basically your game just loading the game and updating the data for your phone so you know where it is and so it gets the GPS locations correct. And then on the top right you also notice your GPS location with a compass 
with the red pointing up north in my direction and then the gray pointing south. And then you'll notice on the bottom right there is a nearby Pokemon tab. I have a Growlithe, a Nidoran female, and a Nidorino, of course male, and then a Horsey. Don't know where the water's at, but okay, okay, Horsey's back. And then we got on the bottom left our avatar with our level, name, and experience. And when we click on it, it'll also show that more in depth with a journal, our team, our start date, and our Poke Coins on how much we have earned. You can get Poke Coins by adventuring throughout, and of course, throughout this series, you'll notice where I'm collecting them. And of course, you get achievements for Jogger, Kanto, Collector, Scientist, Breeder, Backpacker, Battle Girl, and Ace Trainer. You'll be able to get achievements through doing them as well. And you'll also notice, last but on your interface, is a Pokeball that was in the middle. Uh, it'll show you your Pokemon that are currently in your party. I have a Charmander. I can only hold up to 250 Pokemon at the moment. And it'll also show you if you have any eggs as well. You can go ahead and look at your bag. You can hold up to 350 items. I have an incense, a Pokeball, a camera, as well as an egg incubator. I have 43 Pokeballs and two incense, if you are wondering. It also shows you your Pokedex. It shows you every Pokemon that you have seen in the wild. Uh, those that you haven't caught are going to still stay grayed out, but those that have caught, you'll be able to see the full sprite itself. And last but not least, there is a shop. On the top, it'll go ahead and show you how many Poke Coins you have. You can purchase Pokeballs here, incenses, uh, eggs, modules, incubators, your upgrade for more slots into your bag and Pokemon storage, and of course, Pokemon coins can be purchased here. Walking around, man. We go, we're going for it. We can try, we've got to find something nearby. Oh, it's loading right now. Oh, there's something. There's got to be. Okay, there's two things nearby. Oh, damn. What is it? Oh, oh, it's Pidgeotto right on top of me. Come on. Come on. Pidgeotto, my man. You are so trying to be caught. Oh, man. I didn't even reach. There we go. There we go. Look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Did you guys see the flick of the thumb right there? Look at the flick of the thumb. Look at the flick of the thumb. Come on. Come on. Damn right, son, this is how we catch a Pidgeotto. We about to be on our way, catching some more. Got that Pokemon caught, 100 XP. New Pokemon, 500 XP. Come on, come on. Register to the Pokedex like a boss. I do need a Pidgey, though. I can't just go straight into Pidgeotto without a Pidgey. All right, cool. Pidgeotto has been loaded. Ooh, leveled up, leveled up. We are now level two, son. We are now level two. I just wanna say thank you very much for tuning in, everybody, to this episode. I showed you guys the user interface. I caught my very first Pokemon Pidgeotto, and we've got so much more. Stay tuned for some more content brought to you by Further Win Itachi. Stay tuned for some more Poke Vlogger content. Thank you very much for tuning in. Further Win Itachi is out.